Hello viewers, my name is uh, Eddie Promixi, aka Uncle P. We are on to this fair Edu blog. Uh, like our video, hit on the subscription button to get more notification. Please always like to share. We like you share this video to friends and well wishes. Um, today's um, video. We will be looking at mechanism of seeing and accommodation. What is accommodation? Accommodation. You can pause the video and try to define accommodation. But I'll write accommodation. I say that uh, this is defined as a reflex action action of the eye to focus focus far and near objects far and near objects on the retina. So, what you must know about this is that accommodation must be a reflex action of the line of the eye to focus on the line far and near objects on the retina. This is the way to define it to score in any exams where this question is asked. This is accommodation. The ability of the eye, when the object is close to the eye, the eye should be able to bring that object to fall on the retina, not before the retina, not behind the retina. If the information on the object is, is before the retina, that is not accommodation. Some people have problems with accommodation, and that can lead to defects of eye, which can present as hypermetropic hypermetropia, or long-sightedness or myopia which is also referred to as short-sightedness but if the eye can focus very well to bring objects to to drop on the retina not before not after that is accommodation we're going to be looking at what happened during seeing or the mechanism of seeing having known what is accommodation let's now understand what it entails for someone to see what is he all about. Okay, I would like to also take you to the structure of the eye once again to show you what it entails or what is involved in seeing or sight. This is your eye. This is your eye involved the eyeball. Okay, this is the first part of the eye. I'm just going to be showing just two critical part of the eye, the cornea, and then the lens. Lens. Okay, and now the lens. You must make sure that this lens is in convex shape. All right, and then there is a circular muscle here. There is a circular muscle, and there is a, a very stoutish. Stoutish suspensory ligaments holding the lens are the same way the circular muscle here touting to hold the lens in this position. Okay. Now, what is in C? I want to call here two labial two here five. Here three, here four, here three, here four. And the light is going into this eye. And the light will focus here. Okay, now where light is coming from, let me start from lights coming from a far object. Look at the far objects. Want to see this from a far. Light will come in a straight line 
a straight line that is parallel to come parallel lights comes to the eye, the cornea bends these lights. And this part of the cornea, cornea also bends these lights. The bending must be shown clearly. And the lens also bends lights so that these lights can be brought to focus on the on the retina. This is the retina. Now, what is these numbers all about? Let me start with one. Number one. This number one here is that uh, light ray parallel. Let me use the word parallel. Parallel lights. Light rays reaches the eye from this object. That is number one. And then number two, cornea. Cornea bend, bends or refracts lights ray going into the eye. It refracts that is the function of the cornea. And then three, three ciliary, ciliary, ciliary muscle, the ciliary muscle. In this case, relax, relaxes, and then four suspensory ligament at all these lengths. Suspensory ligament, suspensory ligament without stops, and then five. What happened to the five? The lens, lens pull. Out thin, and then six. What happened to the six? This is here should be six, and then, and then, objects, objects focus, focus on the retina. So this is how someone see object from afar. This is accommodation. But what is involved in mechanism of seeing? An object far to the eye. First of all, parallel light reaches the eye. Two, cornea bends light rays. And as cornea is bending light ray, is it so that the object can focus on the retina, not at the back of the retina? Three, ciliary muscle relax because. Light is coming all the way from a far distance. So there will be time for these muscles to do what? Relax. Four, suspensory ligaments out because the shape or the size of the lens put out to be smaller or thin. And if these things, if these processes, mechanisms should happen, that means objects must fall on the Retina, everything being a wall. And then what if the object is near? What is going to happen? What will be the mechanism of someone seeing a or an object near to him? Let's see what is going to happen when this object is very near. When the object is near. When the object is near, first of all, when the object is near, that means so all the things that happens within the eyeball may not happen if the eye is to see an object very near to the eye. What is going to happen? That means I should expand the very shape of the lens. The lens will grow bigger. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be bigger, and in that point, this circular muscle here, ciliary muscle here, we contract. And because it contracts, the this we slack. This we slack by holding the big lens. The same thing happens here. This we slack to hold the big lens. So here is three. Here is four. 
here is two, sorry, five, here is two, and here is three, four, and objects. Okay, four object falls, that means I should place an object here and see how it's focused here. This object is close, not where it is far. That means light reaching the eye is diverging. Diverging. Look at how it diverge. It's diverging. Diverging. This is diverging light. Diverging light ray. It comes here. It will bend. This will also bend. And as it bends, the lens helps to bend it too. And uh, so that the lights, the objects, can focus on the retina. Here it says, so here, image. Image. Focus. Focus on the image. Focus on the retina. So how do I report this mechanism of seeing an object? Here is one. So the first thing here means that die virgin light ray light light ray reaches reach the eye reach the eye two Cornea, bend, light ray. Three, in this case, the circular, circular ciliary muscle here, ciliary muscle, muscle, relax. I mean, contract. In other way, it is relaxing, but here it's all not contracting, contracts. And what happened to the four? Four. Uh, suspense three, suspense three ligaments slack. It's slack. Why is it slacking? It's slacking because lens pull out bigger. It's bigger when the object is coming to the eye. And then six, what happened? That means image, image are brought to focus. Image focus. Focus. Image. Focus. On. The. Retina. Image. Focus. On the earth. Retina. So this is what happens. The mechanism of what is happening. When an object. When an object is close to the eye. So once an object is close to the eye. It means that light going to the eye. Is diverging. Is moving to the eye. As a diverging light rays. And when that happens, the cornea, which its function is to refract or bend lights. And because the light the object is coming from near objects, this lens will pull out big so as to focus the diverging light to focus to, to be brought to focus on the retina. Once this is, is getting bigger, here we slack a little bit. As this particular circular muscle here, we what we contract. As in the case of seeing an object very distant, apart, an object from here coming into the eye, this will pull out to be thin. Here without the muscle here, we what we relax and not contract. Please notice what happened when an object is to be focused. Is to when an object. Is brought to focus. Is focus is to focus on the retina. Know what happened if an object is near? How is it focusing on the retina? If an object is far, how is it going to focus on the retina? So when an object is near, that means this six mechanism will take place before this object will focus here. When an object is far, that means all problems of what happened when it is near will happen. Like when it is far, it's not diverging. It means that lights from Right, light enters the eye in parallel rays. When the object is very close, that means light enters diverged in the eye. What happens when the object is close? What is the cornea doing? The cornea will bend the light. When the object is far, the cornea will also bend the light. When the object is near, the ciliary muscle will contract. When it is far, the ciliary muscle will relax. When it is near, the suspensory ligament will slack. When it is far, suspensory ligament without. When it is near, lens pull out, lens pull out bigger. When it is far, object lens will be thin. And six, 
both things will happen. Image will be brought to focus on the retina. Thanks for watching this video. Like and share. And you can hit the subscription button below for notification on our subsequent video. Thank you for watching.